Hello my soccer universe. After I gave you a little sampling together with my daughter of all the AFCON home jerseys and if you haven't seen that video she's rating them all here. It's time for the big deep dive where we look at all the jerseys that have been released for this year's AFCON and most of them also will be worn which is exciting and if you're a long time subscriber you know I love my African jersey. You see it in the background. I have a small uh, but a hopeful hope fine collection of African jerseys. They are among national team jerseys my favorite and doing the AFCON jersey review is always a highlight for me because not only do we get colors we get wild patterns we also get an eclectic mix of suppliers and this year is no difference. For the 24 teams we have a total of 18 different suppliers. Puma have the lion share with six then a small Portuguese brand with Lakatoni have two and the rest all single suppliers. So there's only one Nike team, there's only one Adidas team and only one um Umbro team and that makes it extra spe special and extra exciting. How do I do the review? Well I do it in three parts uh, by groups. So groups A and B in part one, C and D in part two, uh, E and F in part three. All the jerseys that you see I pull from Football Kit Archive. Again I warmly recommend if you're interested in jerseys to check this page out because it is really a Football Kit Archive and I rate all the jerseys on a scale from one being the worst to ten being the best. Also if we have looked at a particular jersey already in a previous review I will refer you to that. We'll not talk about uh, this particular jersey at big length to kind of shorten the video a teeny little bit. So I would say let's get started. And the first team are the hosts the Cote d'Ivoire who used the jerseys that have been released in 22 ahead of the World Cup. If they would have qualified they would have worn these jerseys there and it's the classic Puma template that we had. I have to say um, this jersey gives me a certain retro feel with um, you know uh, lighter orange stripes on top. It kind of has a little bit of an 80s look. However again this is this boxed look from Puma that I'm not a huge fan of either and I would actually expect a little bit more for the Cote d'Ivoire. You know, yes you have the nice crest blah 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 but a little bit more elephantine and less rigid. So it goes more towards the middle. I would say it's not a bad jersey all overall but I think with six stars it's all good. The away jersey is a little bit more adventurous. This is the you know when Puma decided to put all these boxes up front. Um, it's a give or take. I have to say here I don't mind it as much. I really like the tusks on the bottom that are uh, crossing but on the other side the shape is also a little bit weird of overall. I mean what I do like is that you have the crest below the Puma logo then you have the country flag and the nickname that I egg which makes it nice. But yeah, 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 I've seen it quite popular uh, at this AFCON, but overall it's kind of a Marmite jersey. I honestly would like to go five. I think it could have used a little bit more green, maybe even on the sleeve cuff. So let's give this one a five. And we move to one of the sensational teams at this AFCON, which is of course Cape Verde. Equipped by Tempo Sports, an Egyptian company as far as I know. Um, and I really like the color scheme with the dark blue and then the red which comes straight from the flag. I also like the federation crest, there's a little shark on there and the last time around they had like a shark swirling. Now they just have a map of the islands with the exact coordinates which I think is also cool. Uh, it's a nice feature especially that the islands are outlined in white on it. Makes it quite nice and then with the geographical co coordinates you get also this uh, slight pinstripe look which also doesn't look bad. It's not a bad uh, um, idea overall. It's very subtle other than that it's a simple shirt but actually I would go with this one for uh, seven stars. Uh, the away jersey though I think a little bit more blue could have helped. I am not very fond of the shoulder uh, patchy. I think uh, just a round collar would, would have been nice. And you know the island outline here I think is in a light reddish but I would uh, like it a little, a little bit stronger. So this jersey goes although it's literally the same jersey in design and, and so on. It's a little bit mad to, to, to me so I would also go the five star route here. Next Puma jersey, Egypt. Uh, Egypt home jersey. I mean I could literally repeat what I just said for the Cote d'Ivoire. 
I like the pinstriping in black, but again, this boxed effect from Puma uh, really doesn't quite do it for me. I would really like that this extends a little bit more. Uh, I like the way that the color looks, uh, you know, the red and then you have white and black. I think this is uh, a very nicely done. I always say the Egyptian crest needs a little bit of work. Uh, I don't like it. On, 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 honestly, I think for a team like Egypt, some, there could be something much, much, much uh, better. But I think among the Puma jerseys uh, that are the home, home, home jerseys is potentially, mm, yeah, upper middle class, <laughs> if, if, if you would like. I think I also will give it six stars uh, because it's more of a chance missed than anything uh, really special. However, I do have, have to say, the away jersey. This is the best one of this type of Puma shirts because the circle doesn't bother me as much. And with the pattern around it, actually, it looks playful. Now, I would love if this were some hieroglyphic inscriptions or even Arabic inscriptions that would make it better. What I think this is are the three pyramids of Giza repeated all over, which I guess is also nice. But the circle makes for me all the difference because it's now not boxed, but it's kind of a little bit more organic and the circle is the perfect one. It also fits nicely with the crest in there. Then we still have this pinstrap effect in there. You also don't see like for other uh, Puma shirts, you see they have this annoying center stripe. I don't see this here as well, all, all the much and then trimmed in black. This is actually quite a good Google jersey. This, is a jersey that I have uh, at least thought about getting uh, as again the best example of this type of Pum Puma jersey. I want to give this a whooping eight stars. I really like this one, honestly. Uh, moving on to Equatorial Guinea, another sensational team. Uh, the only Macron team at this AFCON and yeah. It's very flashy, very flashy. I guess there are a lot of lightning storms uh, there because otherwise I don't quite get why it has to be so flashy. It's a jersey that I'm not sure. I mean, I think the color is nice. I It gets a little bit of colors in there, but it's not quite doing it for me. It's a little bit too wild. I actually want to go uh, with a four star here. Uh, but when I look now at the away jersey, yes, same idea, but uh, this looks you know, like a uh, former Italy jer uh, jersey, because, you know, the Italian Calcacas are also in the Equatorian Guinean flag. This one actually looks much more palatable to me, although the lightning bolts still are annoying me quite some. I mean, it looks like a Tampa Bay lightning, if you were asking me, but color-wise, everything fits better. Blue uh, together with the uh, uh, red, white, and green. That's actually a quite nice combination. So I'm gonna elevate this uh, to maybe a six stars. The lightning balls are still a little, a little bit too, uh, too much. And then same thing in blue. I mean, this could be an Italy home jersey, uh, a nice one. Some lightning bolts, uh, if you would like. I guess Macron is kind of putting in an uh, air application, you know. If we would equip the Italian national team, we would do something better than Adidas is doing. And I actually would agree with them. I think Macron should take over the Italian na national team. I also give this six, six stars, although I think the blue one here is the best of all of these. And then Ghana. We've already seen Ghana. Uh, the home jersey is similar to Egypt. A little bit mad, but I like the sleeve cuffs and the black star in the middle. I gave it six stars uh, for the World Cup jersey review, which you can see here. And I will stick with that. And I will also stick with the away jersey. You see here the annoying darker center line. I don't mind the pattern beyond the Puma logo, but the box, the, ang the angle box really, really bugs me. And that doesn't make this jersey really pretty, to, to be honest. Uh, it looks really like a knockoff shirt in, in a way. For that reason, I gave this three stars and I will stick with that. And then we go to Guinea-Bissau, also another team that we have already seen at the last AFCON. You can see the re review for, for that. So we're going to go through it. Gui Sport is doing it. Guinea-Bissau, Gui Sport. Uh, I, I find that funny. I actually like the pattern on this one. It's really cool. So I gave this seven stars. Um, I think it seems about right. Uh, the away jersey in green, eight stars. I actually find even a little bit more... Uh, better because it's more playful it has a little bit more on the on on, on the on the on the bottom and then the top can breathe a little bit more so i i, I like that one too then we had the third jersey um in yellow maybe 
too strict for the playful pattern, especially if you've seen the, the previous two. But I think it's also not, not a bad idea. So I give this seven. And then the away jersey, uh, get, got, 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 got a six star because you cannot really see the number and, and, and so on. But you know, there's a overall theme that I really enjoy with the jerseys of Guinea Bissau. Mozambique, one of the Lakatoni teams. Um, and at first, I have to say I was a little bit uh, almost annoyed of how simple this is. But then, you know, simple is not always bad. What's really cool is that there is a sort of a pattern in there that makes it, uh, when you look up close, a little bit more in interesting. Still doesn't get a quite the great look that it could be, but I think it makes it much more nicer, uh, especially upon closer inspection. If you see this image, it's probably a little bit too simple if you were to ask me. It's not bad, so I'm gonna go six. The away jersey does the same thing in white, um, therefore I cannot really say much. Maybe white and black, I think the red and black look a little bit better, but I think uh, it would be ridiculous to give this uh, a different grade than the six that I gave before. And same thing goes for the yellow one. Uh, I, I, I actually enjoy the yellow and black. It has a slightly uh, Africa Dortmund feel, if you would like. Let's give this six stars two and we'll end at the only nike team in nigeria and boy did nike come on with a really really interesting shirt again for nigeria nike go all out now this one was a revolutionary jersey the um, next one that they had which you can see here at the afcon uh with kind of the nigerian flag but then also the pattern was also cool now i don't mind uh, the switch to a slightly darker green but i find this jersey while well, really interesting to look at and i have uh at one point considered buying it uh it's a little bit too much if I'm honest, and we are now so used to the light green Nigeria. I think the dark green is probably more what I'm used to, but yeah, the super eagle on the front, great. But then the patterning is just way too random for me. Uh, it makes this jersey, I don't wanna say an eyesore because it's all green, 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 but it makes it almost a little bit too, you know, epilepsy inducing if you would like. So yeah have a really hard time grade, uh, grading this but I think I'm gonna go five here rather average but you know I there is something there but it, it just goes too 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 well I know it's not an average shirt per, per, per se but for me it looks too good to be uh, one to three or even four but it's also too bad to give it a higher grade so that's why I go middle ground here however I do like this away jersey this Avengers is actually quite cool, uh, although it has this trapezoid, which I absolutely hate that Nike did this, but here it works. This absolutely works. I love the sleeves. Uh, it, I get some uh, Nigerian 94 Adidas vibes, although it's not the same pattern, but you know, this triangular pattern is really, really interesting. This is an absolutely outstanding jersey. I would give this nine stars. It's really, really cool one, I have to say. And we are done with part one. Please let me know which jerseys in here did you like, which ones did you dislike, where do you agree and disagree with me. Please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon about more African jerseys and other things in my soccer universe. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.